Hi, I'm Max Munoz, Grounds Manager for the National Butterfly Center here in Mission, Texas. It is migration season for the monarchs and they're headed back north. For this reason, I've chosen milkweed as the plant of the month for March. This plant is very important to monarch survival. It is not only a great nectar source, but also a host for the monarch caterpillars. There are over 29 species of milkweed in Texas alone and over 120 species in the whole U.S. For that reason, it does not matter where you live. If your area is part of the monarch migration route, then you can be sure that there's a species of milkweed that belongs in your area. Here at the National Butterfly Center in the Rio Grande Valley, two of these milkweeds are doing exceptionally well. One of them is the tropical milkweed, as you see right here. The tropical milkweed is its common name. Asclepias curasavica is its scientific name. This milkweed is very showy. It has red and orange flowers. And sometimes you'll find it in yellow color, as you see right here. With blooms in the spring and summer, it is one milkweed to have in your garden. The other milkweed is called Cisotes milkweed. Its scientific name is Asclepias enoteroides, with white greenish flowers that bloom in the spring summer and the fall and it's sure to attract a great number of butterflies don't worry if the caterpillars show up to feed on this particular plant once the caterpillars devour the stems it will sure to come back pretty and bushier than before these two plants require very little watering and should be planted in full sun to produce great blooms this particular plant has a seed pod that once it dries out the wind will blow them out and you will have a lot of seedlings but this can be easily controlled by cutting off the seed pods before they dry and fly off. I hope this introduction has sparked your interest and that you will add this butterfly feeder to your growing garden. Until next month, and remember, if you plant it, they will come.